Ah, Alvani, you are here. Good. I hear you uh, turned down your last meal. Hmm, pity. I personally approved the menu. There were uh, <clears throat> sausages. Why would the warden come to visit me now? What could he possibly want? I have nothing to say to him. I won't give him the pleasure of hearing me speak. What good will it do? He wants me to plead. I shall not. Hmm, quite. You were always a man of few words, Alvani. A rational pragmatist to the end. I approve. As you know, your execution will take place at dawn. I have to admit that I'm, I'm curious why, after so long, there's such a sudden rush to see you dead. I'm very curious. But, uh, <clears throat> that's not why I'm here, no. As you also know, you have the choice between hanging and beheading. As far as I can tell, you have yet to, um, voice a preference. If you forfeit this choice, it'll be left to me to decide the uh, <clears throat> instrument of death. I simply want to ensure we've dotted every I and crossed every T. What does it matter? Death is death, and I'm ready to embrace my own. I have nothing more to say to this man, or to anyone. A warrior deserves to die by the blade. But do I deserve that death? I laid down my own sword. I turned on my own people. I was a warrior. But now I'm merely a prisoner. And soon I will be blessedly free of everything. What does it matter? Death? Quite. Then I shall make that choice. <clears throat> do you have no family, Alvani? My family is very important to me, almost as important as my duty to this city and this office. In the event of my own death, it would pain me to know that they would be left with no answers, no body to bury, no closure. I, I know you're a man of faith, a man of principle. I also understand that things happen to hmm, make you question your calling. What I do not understand is why you've... Um, <clears throat> simply decided to give up, to, mm, to stop fighting. I wish he would just leave. I have nothing more to say to him. I don't care about what he doesn't understand. No one can. No one will ever know why I chose to stop living. How can he understand? How can anyone? To have everything you believe in fall to pieces. To be asked to continue a war that you have no faith in. By commanders that you can no longer trust. I wish he would just leave. Very well. Everything has been uh, properly filed. I have no reason to question the order of execution. Even threatened me with dismissal, and worse, should I stand in the way of their orders. They don't know me very well. Threats mean nothing. Proper paperwork, on the other hand. Well, I will simply have to <clears throat> accept that my questions will remain forever unanswered. I shall see you at first light, Alvani. The noose will be ready for you. Up, Kian. There isn't much time. Well, hurry up, boy. We ain't got much time. About bloody time. Come on, let's go. What's going on? No time for answers. Let's get a move on. What's going on down there? That boy is a made to order riot. We're getting you out of here. Who are you? Do I know you? I bloody well hope so. 
You were this close to running me through with your sword. What? The Swamp City. Precisely. Where I made a daring swashbuckling last minute escape, and you were arrested by your own commander. Quite a day, eh? If you're with the Resistance, why are you helping me escape? So that you can repay your debt and help free our city. In the meantime, we need a bloody key to get through this bloody gate. We will need a key to open this gate. We still don't have a key, boy. What's going on out there? Ha! Huh. Wish I knew. The Azadi are entrenched. They're up to something. There ain't been a lot of new troops arriving. But then again, they've stopped pushing north. They only appear interested in holding the city. Saya and Vermon are still in charge. Oh, uh, they're in charge, all right. But rumors say one of the bloody six is arriving soon. Which is why we need to be ready. Something's about to go down. He's still, he's still breathing. I've seen him around the prison. I don't think he's been here that long. And I don't think he's long for this world. He might know how to get out of here. I don't think he'll make it, but if he can help us, his death won't be in vain. He looks badly hurt. I don't think he'll survive long, but we can't just leave him here either. How are you feeling? Can you walk? No. I've lost uh, too much blood. Take... <coughs> Take the key from the guard's body. Save yourselves. There's nothing more I can do for him. He is already dead. All I can do is reassure him. There must be something we can do for him. Anything. I can't save his life, but perhaps he has some last wish that I can fulfill. Is there anything I can do for you? Anything at all? My, <coughs> my family. Tell them. Tell them what happened to me. Tell them I love them very much. And that <coughs> my children. Tell them they make me proud. I can give no promises. I don't even know if we'll make it out of here alive, or where my path will take me next. And I can't make a promise that I might not be able to keep. I have to promise. I have to fulfill this man's dying wish, no matter what. I promise. They live. In the bones. My name is Stunt. Arn Stunt. Thank you. Please. <laughs> Please. Finish me before the guards find me. They won't be kind. They'll make, <coughs> make me suffer. It's a makeshift blade. I've seen how they make them by sharpening stolen spoons against stone. A deadly weapon in the right hands. Kill. Please. <laughs> Please kill me. Kill. Please. <laughs> Please kill me.
May the goddess ease your journey into the next life. It had to be done, Kian. You made the right choice. You have the key? Excellent. Now unlock the gate. They have different keys for every floor, so you might as well leave that one in the lock. Follow me, boy. We're going up, not down. Upwards. Ever upwards. Down there, you'll only find fiery death. The way out of here is up, up, up. What did you mean, repay a debt? You damn near wiped us out, boy. Your last minute reversal didn't help save anyone. Aside from your own soul, mayhap. And now is your chance at repentance. I don't want repentance. I'm ready to die for my crimes. Why don't you just leave me here? You may be ready to die, Kian, but the Resistance certainly isn't. And we need you. Now, find a way to open this bloody door. Something long and thin to pick the lock might do the trick. be damned. It broke. The blade worked better as a weapon than a lockpick. What are my people really doing here in Mercuria? You tell me, boy. They are your people. I do not know. I thought I did, but I was wrong. It's not about faith, it's about something else. About time you figured that out. What they have planned, I do not believe it is the divine will of the goddess. More the unholy will of a gaggle of rotten mortal eggs. This is tempting fate. Sooner or later, one of those arrows will pierce my skull. The keep is surrounded by soldiers, mostly Azadi troops, it looks like. Good bowmen. I'm lucky I dodged their arrows. Goddess, save me. I'm playing the Dolmari gamble with my life. Goddess, save me. I'm playing the Dolmari gamble with my life. A filthy pillow. undamaged and thin enough to fit in a lock. I should be able to open the gate with this.
That ought to do the trick. Go on. Pick the lock with the arrow. Good job. Follow me. If it isn't our old friend, Mr. Murren. I'll say back him. I should have known you wouldn't have let yourself get caught so easily. You're damn right. Now let us through. I'm afraid that's uh, quite impossible, Balsay. Your journey ends here, I'm afraid. There's no pick in this one. He's plugged it from his side. By the Mojar's unclean genitals, Warden! Open up right this bloody minute! Words, 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 Mr. Backy. You know very well I do not respond to threats. May the mojo befoul your filthy arsehole, Murren. Let us through right bloody now. When I get my hands on you, Warden, you will wish your grandmother had never spread her legs to your grandfather. One day, Murren, we will see you garroted in front of this entire city and your family too. The Warden has blocked the gate somehow. I'm afraid this is uh, <clears throat> as far as you will get. People like him only respond to violence and threats. He's scum, and I should treat him as such. He claims to be a rational pragmatist. Maybe I give him too much credit, and maybe he doesn't deserve it, but I could attempt to reason with him. See if he responds to that. Listen. Do you hear that? Your prisoners are revolting, Warden. Sooner or later, they will reach this floor. Let me through, and I shall be lenient and merciful. They won't give you the same consideration. I see. And what, pray tell, is my guarantee that you'll follow through on your <clears throat> promise? He will have to take my word for it. After all, what choice does he have? And I'm... I was the Apostle. I was always true to my word. Garmin and Utana taught me well. Why should he not trust me? Doesn't the Warden claim to be a practical man? If that's the case, he would listen to a practical argument. I will just have to phrase myself carefully. He's not likely to fold easily. Think carefully about this, Warden. My leniency is your only hope at this point. Hmm, perhaps. But as you may imagine, I didn't rise to my position by taking people at their word. <laughs> Particularly in a prison. Honesty is in... <clears throat> Short supply in here. All men of his station can be bought. He lacks character and faith, believing only in the power of office and wealth. If I offer to buy him, I'm sure he will be swayed, filthy maggot that he is. What did he say about family again? He may treasure his office above his blood, but maybe he will listen to reason if I appeal to his sense of family. You are a family man, Murren, are you not? Do you wish to see them left fatherless? If not for yourself, then do this for your family. Open up. Hmm, my family is important to me. I would not want my boys to grow up without a father. Their mother <clears throat> lacks the moral fortitude needed to instill duty and backbone in them. God forgive her. She's a good woman, but merely a woman. Very well, you make a fair point. I will trust you despite my better instincts. Step back, Alvani. Praise your gods, I don't have time for you now, Murren. But your day will come. You gave me your word, Alvani, your word. You said I would not be harmed. You said you would let me live. Does that not count for 
anything anymore? Is your word so disposable you will throw it away at a whim? If you kill me, you've proven your disregard for the law. You've proven that you're a simple brute. If I kill you, I rid the world of a piece of sadistic vermin who sold out his own people. Look who's... who's talking. You will receive your just punishment soon enough. <coughs> Perhaps so, Alvani, but at least my punishment... <coughs> at least my punishment will be at the hands of those who respect laws and regulations. And not a... Be a barbarian like yourself. This is as far as the stairwell will take us. Now we need to find a way to the roof. I didn't say I wanted to leave this place. What part of to be executed in the morning did you not get? And what part of the resistance needs you did you fail to comprehend? Why would your people trust me? I am their enemy. <laughs> you were the enemy. I trust your allegiance to your people has diminished somewhat in the past year. How do you know I won't just turn on you, soon as we're out of here? Oh, I know, and others do too. Our faith is rarely misplaced. Now, we need to get to the roof somehow. The gate won't get us there, and anyway, it's blocked. We need to find another way up. I got you this far, Kian. Now you need to put that Azadi brain of yours to work, and quick. They're not far behind us. They use this contraption to transport food from the kitchens below. We don't have much time. I can't get a good grip on it with all that oil. See where this is going. Oh, clever boy. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. You first. If that chain's still hot, I want some warning. our cloud ship. We need to buy ourselves some time. Quick, lock that gate. Good. Now arm yourself. Come over here now. Why the Mojas blow the test it? Stop fucking about and get your ass over here, boy. How will we escape? I thought you'd have a ship waiting. A ship? <laughs> no, boy. Your way out of here is not on a cloud ship, but through a portal created by the very magic your people are trying to stamp out. My way? 
Only one of us can pass through that portal before it closes. And it requires a sacrifice. It's dark magic. It requires blood. It requires a life. What? No. No! I cannot accept your sacrifice. Either both of us leave, or neither. Don't be a mojo, damned fool, boy. I have made my peace with the gods. Can you say the same? Besides, I may be a decent fighter, but you... Without you, the resistance will falter, and the Azadi will be victorious. So, take that sword, and take my head, so that you can get out of here and start paying your debts. Just do me the favor of a quick and clean death. Goddess, forgive me. A clean strike, boy! <laughs> 